Okay, the nose. So first off, let's count this up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it should work out. Here's a trick for this one. Um, what I want to do is make sure that these are the ones that are connecting. Again, I'm going to have to put another edge loop on the inside of the nose, just like I did the outside of the nose. One to support the inside, one to support the outside. Let's try just connecting these. And look, I have a quad. One, two, three, four. That wasn't hard, was it? Now, is there anything in here that has detail? And I would say there's a bone in here. But I think I'll be able to pull off the bone quite nicely with the arrangement with this right here. So, we'll leave it alone and pray. And I'm not worried about it being sucked into the back into the mesh too much. Uh, that's something I could sculpt in. So we're well on our way. I mean, a lot of this stuff is done. Um, the hardest thing now is just, you know, getting all this spaced out evenly and getting it all connecting to the back and then back into the front. So um, I think I'll, I'll start by finishing off the teeth because those are probably the worst method or the worst thing left. I might just power through this and as I could do it, I'll try to chat about something interesting if you're insane enough not to watch this on fast forward. Okay, again, A is equal to good moving. <laughs> okay, this is where I put just a tiny edge loop in here. Uh, again, this is to support the back side of the teeth and make it easy to texture, topologize, sculpt, and everything else. I'm going to be using a lot of these edge loops to add detail to this skull. Okay, so a little tiny one. And then I can start saying, well, you know, not so, not so much now. Now what really happens in this area is it gets uh, pushed in. So that's something I can do in the sculpt. Um, I'm not really worried about it right now. And I definitely do not want a mesh with a hole in it. That's such a pain to deal with. I've tried so many, especially normal map generation. Oh, it's just so awful to have some kind of hole in the mesh because uh, it doesn't calculate correctly and uh, just so over the years you know I've trust me when I say you know I've seen a lot of badness but for everything for everything bad you learn from and I have definitely learned that holes and meshes equal bad here's an area that I would say I uh, don't need a whole lot of polys I mean I can start thinking about maybe poly reduction at this point and to do so, and I can start going like that. And connecting those two, that's going to give me this. Now that's going to equal some bad sculpt in the teeth though. So I'm going to continue with the idea that, you know, even if I don't need them, I'm going to have them in there. I'm just trying various polygon reduction tricks here. See how 
it goes naturally into an edge loop here. So there we go. We got rid of a couple polygons, so now I didn't have to go all the way across. This is in the back side of the mouth, so I'm not really worried about that too much. And voila, there we go. Now, uh, important to know that because of those polygon reduction tricks, you know, you're only able to go so far down on the mesh. So the adaptive skin, um, if you look at it here, because of those tricks, uh, there might yield a, a triangle in that area. So make sure that, you know, when I show you something, make sure you look at it at both levels to see if you're happy. See, no, no triangle there. Um, and let's see, right here, I'm good to go. But you can see how low or what happens in the nose area. In this case, there's so less a detail in here that I don't know if I can even sculpt that. So always check that. Um, to build up texture or detail in that nose, I'm going to have to divide that up. And then insert an edge loop going all the way around here. All the way out to the outside world. And this is probably an edge loop I don't even want in here, but again, I could probably get rid of it later if I'm not happy with it. And I'll probably use Go Z for that. Keep in mind, there is no natural way within ZBrush to kind of select an edge loop and say, be gone. Okay, so let's look at that as a separate level. As a second level, it looks nice. I would say it's almost too close. And that's probably because I gotta move these points. So I'm gonna take and move these up a little bit. Put them more in the center. And that looks a little bit better. Okay, good to go. All right, so now that the teeth are done, um, now it's about closing up the entire mesh and getting it all the way around the other side. Again, I'm not going to make it so there's a hole right here like a natural skull would to attach to the spine. I'm going to leave it as an edge loop in this area and then have the ability to push back on the mesh there. All right, please move into the next video where I can get more information or give you more information.